You've heard of chicken piccata, and maybe you even heard of veal piccata, but what about shrimp piccata? Our next guests are known for making delicious pasta sauces, and now they've released a piccata sauce. Welcome owners of Conazero Sauce, Melanie and Andy Tritton to the show. Hello, how you doing? Thank doing you, great. hello, we're great, how are you? Uh-huh, great. All right, I know we're gonna be talking about this sauce, but this is something new for you. It's piccata sauce, sauce, right? Yep, it's our only non-tomato-based sauce. So mm -hmm. lemon, white wine, capers, fresh parsley. Garlic, pepper. But That's about it. Uh -huh. It's fantastic. Was it fun making too? Yes. It was yeah, fun yeah, experimenting. Yeah. And, uh, we had to get it right, right? So. Yeah, exactly. Traditionally, when you make a piccata sauce, you make it as you're making the dish. Uh -huh. And so with a number of practices, she nailed it, and it is exactly as you would get in a restaurant. So we, random, rarely will you ever see this jar out on the shelf in a grocery store. Okay, or well, Melanie, let's get to making shrimp yeah, piccata. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you can do it with shrimp. We also did it with, we've done it with scallops, which was great. Okay. Um, yeah. But we're doing it with shrimp today. So we, um, I just took these big kind of jumbo shrimp, mm -hmm. salt and pepper, about three minutes on the first side, and then I flipped them. And we're going to serve them over the zucchini and uh, yellow squash noodles. So Andy just did a little bit of salt and pepper on those squash noodles. Yep. And, and then I'm just going to talk and turn and get these all kind of nice and going. And then uh, here shortly we're going to add um, some cherry tomatoes. So when you do the noodles, like typically you can do like regular noodles, but is this a healthier option, correct? Yeah, it's so pretty. That was, you know, it's so hot. Nobody wants to eat big heavy meals right now, I feel like. And okay. so this meal keeps it nice and light, but you're still full. You get the protein, you get everything you need without too much weighing you down. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. So he's just getting, really you're just heating that up. The, the noodles are so thin that they just heat up on their own. So then I'm gonna take the piccata sauce. Okay. And I'm just gonna give it a good shake. And I'm gonna have you, if you would, we throw the tomatoes in there. Okay. So we got these, you can put them right in here. Oh, right here. We got these cherry tomatoes from the farmer's market. We got all different colors and sizes. Oh, there, get your little escapee. <laughs> And that's it. We really just want to warm those tomatoes up. They're going to just wilt a little bit in the dish like that. So you're going to put the entire jar in there? Almost, yeah. Okay. I did half on this one because it's a small amount, but right. for a full family of three or four, I'd say, yeah, for sure. For two of us. Or for the two of us, you gotcha. know, one being Andy. Okay. You know, and so it'll start bubbling up a little bit. And we'll get it, and you'll see that it'll start to kind of get a little thick. And then we're going to add it right to there, and it's going to be just so good. Quick, easy, simple. Yeah. So normally when you'd make the sauce at home, you'd have to bread your protein first. Um, you can do it with shrimp, or chicken, veal, um, salmon. We're going to do it with salmon on the okay. grill, too. Um, but this one, you just don't have to have all those ingredients in the house. Are those peas or capers? Those are the capers. capers. Okay, yeah, they little give, salty, the yummy capers. They kind of give you a nice little flavor, a little bite to them, yeah, right? Exactly. They do. It's traditional with a uh, piccata sauce, okay. the capers that you find in there. And then everything just gets carried over, you know, and just give it a nice little easy mix. And right, look at the colors in there. Beautiful colors. And then we're going to serve it. And that's it. Just some shrimp and tomatoes in there mm -hmm. over those noodles, and it's just so good. Oh, that's cool. One of the things with the piccata sauce is, is that it'll tend to separate out so when you see it on the shelf. But once you're getting ready to use it and, and uh, cook with it, you just give it a shake. So, okay, Annie, where can people find your sauces? Uh, you can definitely go to our website and check out, uh, click on to find us. All of our retail stores will pop up. Um, you can also find us at the farmer's markets on Saturdays at Davidson and Matthews. And then you can find us at the Peach Stand and uh, Bradford Store and Shop and Shop Save. Shop and Save. Exactly. We're so. moving as fast as we can to get it in all the stores <laughs> we can. So, mm. just as quick as we can make it. This is, is very, <laughs> very good. You like it? I know, I love good. it. Uh, usually this, it's always a tomato sauce. Awesome. It's but almost a tomato bit, but this is, and it's light. Yeah. It's really light. And nobody charged this. Wow, my goodness, all right? Yeah. yeah. If you want more <laughs> of the Canazaro sauces, you can find them at CanazaroFamilia.com. That's CanazaroFamilia.com. Notice the spelling on there. Thank you very, very you much. You are very welcome. Thank you. Man, that's really, really good. All right. Well,